Donald Trump engaged in deceptive business practices and tremendous fraud. Donald Trump falsely, knowingly, inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to unjustly enrich himself, his family, and to cheat the system. Donald Trump may have authored the art of the deal, but he perfected the art of the steal. This long running fraud was intentional, egregious, illegal. And he did it all of this, he did all of this with the help of the other defendants, his two adult sons and senior executives at the Trump Organization. And so, after 11 weeks of trial, we showed the staggering extent of his fraud and exactly how Donald Trump and the other defendants deceived banks, insurance companies, and other financial institutions for their own personal gain. We proved just how much Donald Trump, his family, and his company unjustly benefited from his fraud. Today, the court once again ruled in our favor and in favor of every hardworking American who plays by the rules. Donald Trump and the other defendants were ordered to pay $463.9 million. That represents $363.9 million in disgorgement, plus $100 million in interest, which will continue to increase every single day until it is paid. Donald Trump, the former chief financial officer of the Trump Organization, Alan Weisselberg, and the former controller of the Trump Organization, Jeffrey McConney, are each banned from serving as an officer or director of any New York company for three years. Mr. Weisselberg and Mr. McConney are also banned for life from serving in a financial management role in any New York company. Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump are banned from serving as an officer or director of any New York company for two years. And Donald Trump and his companies are banned from applying for loans from any New York bank or financial institution for three years. A new independent director of compliance will be created at the Trump Organization to ensure the company establishes internal protocols and meets financial reporting obligations. And the current independent external monitor will continue to oversee the company's financial dealings and ensure this fraud cannot continue. I wanna be clear, white collar financial fraud is not a victimless crime. When the powerful break the law and take more than their fair share, there are fewer resources available for working people, small businesses and families. And everyday Americans cannot lie to a bank about how much money they have in order to get a mortgage to buy a home or a loan to keep their business afloat or to send their child to college. And if they did, our government would throw the book at them. I wanna thank the entire incredible and hardworking team in my office that tried this case. Because the scale and the scope of Donald Trump's fraud is staggering. And so too is his ego and his belief that the rules do not apply to him. Today, we are holding Donald Trump accountable. We are holding him accountable for lying cheating and a lack of contrition and for flouting the rules that all of us must play by because there cannot be different rules for different people in this country and former presidents are no exception. This decision is a massive victory for every American who believes in that simple but fundamental pillar of our democracy that the rule of law applies to all of us equally, fairly, and justly. Thank you. All right, you have been listening to New York Attorney General Letitia James speak after former President Trump and others were ordered to pay over $360 million in a civil fraud case. Now, the Attorney General said, quote, Today, justice has been served and said that while the former president may have authored a book called The Art of the Steel, she said he, quote, 
perfected the art of the steel. Now, we are also keeping a close eye on a feed out of Palm Beach, Florida. That is where former President Trump is expected to make his own remarks soon. But for now, we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. You're streaming CBS News.